Trabecular pattern of the proximal femur. There are important trabecular patterns in the proximal femur, and it occurs according to Wolf's law in response of the bone to stress. There is a primary tensile trabeculae, and there is a primary compression trabeculae. Also, there are secondary tensile and compression trabeculae. In between them is what's known as the ward triangle, which is a very weak area. It's an empty area. It's not full of trabeculae. This trabecular pattern can be seriously affected by osteoporosis. The tensile forces can create microfractures or stress fractures at the superior neck in response to repeated loads. Adult bone is weak in tension. Stress fracture in this area will propagate and will become complete. Early identification and treatment by fixation of this stress fracture is important. Otherwise, the fracture will become complete and displaced, and the fracture may be hard to treat. The tip apex distance is important when treating hip fractures with compression hip screw, because the screw will be embedded in an area where the tensile trabeculae and the compression trabeculae cross each other. So it's a more dense area that contains more bone. The failure rate of the fixation is less if the tip apex distance is less than 2.5 centimeter. You can see also from the diagram why the lateral cortex of the femur is important. Because in this area, the trabeculae present is a secondary tensile trabeculae. This area is weak and it can be easily affected by fractures. So integrity of the lateral wall is important in order to achieve stable fixation and lessen the rate of revision of fixation. If the lateral wall integrity is compromised, by a fracture or by deficiency, the surgeon should select an intramedullary nail rather than a compression hip screw. In cases of hip fracture and osteoporosis, it is advisable to insert the screws posteriorly and inferiorly because the trabecular pattern is more dense in this area. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.